everybody, NeuroRebel here, and I'm an autistic adult. I'm also a hyperlexic autistic adult. This week, we're going to talk about hyperlexia. So let's dive right in. So first, as we often do, we'll start out with a very formal, stuffy, medical definition of what hyperlexia is before diving into a more human and personal experience of hyperlexia. So hyperlexia is defined by VeryWellFamily.com as a syndrome characterized by an intense fascination with letters or numbers and an advanced reading ability. Children who have hyperlexia read at levels far beyond their expected age. Sounds like it's pretty much all sunshine and roses, but there are a few catches to this, and we're going to dive into those. So I started reading and speaking simultaneously on my own at around the age of one and a half years old. Um, and I surprised my parents because I just started reading out signs from the backseat of the car one day and I was reading the map and they were like, huh, I didn't know that they could do that. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I self taught myself to read because I was obsessed with words. Adults were reading to me before bed and reading books to me and putting their finger on the words as they read. And somehow, and my small little one-year-old brain thought that, oh, because they are reading, it lets them speak. And I was like, I must master these words and then it will let me learn to speak. And I guess in my case, that actually was very true. I started to memorize the words uh, and then I also started to speak at around the same time young person, I had a very large vocabulary, which often was delightful. It was a great parlor trick for adults. People thought, oh, sh they're so smart. It's so cute, you know, uh, but there were, there were some issues with this. Uh, people often overestimated me and my maturity because I was a little child with an extremely large vocabulary. I sometimes would pick up and read words that I didn't actually understand or comprehend. Uh, and even now, as an adult, you know, despite the fact that, you know, I was reading like 12th grade books in middle school and elementary school, and I read very, 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 very quickly, now uh, I digest books. I digest things I read. I digest things I read so fast that I am a terrible proofreader. Uh, and this is something I struggle with in the workplace and in life even now because when I read something, I read the words like, it's like, I can't even explain how fast I read. It's like the word, I don't, I don't read phonetically. I don't sound things out. I read, you know, like a sentence and paragraphs at a time. It's just gone. Uh, I don't know many people that read as fast as I do. Um, but like it makes, it makes proofreading really, really difficult for me. So that's like my biggest downfall is I have even taken classes to make me a better proofreader and I'm doing my best. And I, if you see my tweets, no, my best is full of typos. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week and learning about my personal experience uh, as a hyperlexic autistic adult because hyperlexia is something that is more common in the autistic population. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give me a thumbs up or hit share in case somebody else might also find this educational. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.